Hi, my name is Ron Pivo, and I co-wrote the script Shooting Manson with my writing partner and good friend Kevin Courtney. It is about the 1981 jailhouse interview that Tom Snyder conducted with Charles Manson and the man behind the scenes who was the executive producer of the of Snyder show at that time was Roger Ailes, the former Fox executive. So uh, with all those pieces in place, we started to do some research on the script. There was no, in writing the script, there was no there were no books, there were no magazine articles, there was nothing to option. It was us just doing some deep, deep, deep Google dives and doing all our own research. I had to make a ton of calls, I, I sent out emails, and you know, piece by piece we started to put the whole story together. Um, and it was it was a, a real long, long process putting it all together. You know, if you option a book, boom, it's easy, it's all there in front of you. You just kind of have to type it out and, and figure it all out. But we had to do this all on our own. There was really, really uh, no help. From time to time, someone would give me a couple nuggets here and there. There was a, maybe, maybe a newspaper article way back when, and I just it was a connect the dots type of situation. Uh, it took a long time to write the script just because of all the painstaking research that we had to do. And besides that, Kevin was living up in Toronto at the time, and he had just had a heart transplant. So uh, there were some days where, where he was feeling okay. There were other days and other weeks where he just wasn't doing well at all. But thank goodness he's doing great right now. Um, and we're really thrilled with the results of the contest and, and actually really, really thrilled with the way the script turned out. Uh, we ended up getting a hold uh, eventually of Tom Snyder's daughter, Anne Marie. Uh, she saw the script, she loved it, so uh, she gave us some input, and so it all, it all eventually uh, fell into place. It's not the first script I've written. Uh, I have another one out there uh, that was optioned by a, a, a company, and so we're hoping uh, that gets picked up. The advice I have for, for writers or people entering contests, you know, you, you have to find your voice and you have to uh, have your voice be your own. And I know that sounds very simple, but it's not. People will read other scripts and they'll say, oh my gosh, I got I to gotta write like this guy. And, oh, I read this. Maybe I should try, you know, writing sci-fi. You got to write what's in your heart. And, and the pages and the words will come out when they come out. Um, it's very hard to sit in front of a computer for six hours a day and expect the, the, it to come out. You have to go into the world. You have to talk to people, listen how people talk, um, you know, and, 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 and write from, from that standpoint. It's, an ever, uh, it's a process that never ends. Uh, why script at Palooza? I'd heard great things about it. I had a buddy of mine who entered the TV version, uh, TV pilot. He did very well. And so, you know, we wanted to make sure we entered this uh, script into the best contest, and, and we think we did. And so we're really thrilled out of, uh, you know, whatever it was, 3,000, 3,500 that we got to be, you know, in the top uh, top 10 or top 15. We're really, really happy. And uh, we think it's a great script. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's in the biopic uh, true story uh, neighborhood. So we think... Uh, it's uh it's out there for the taking and it's a great great uh you know character driven script uh along the lines of frost nixon and uh it did very well frost nixon did with the academy award nominations not that this is going to be academy award worthy but uh you know you never know so good luck to all the writers out there and thank you to scriptapalooza for getting it out there